Somebody said the other day, they get the impression that I'm here waiting for something to happen. I like the idea of that because this is a good place to wait. <laughs> this is a very good place to wait for something to happen. In a way, I am waiting, but I'm also not waiting. When you plant trees, you're not waiting. You're building something much, much bigger. I'm not in a hurry now. Not as I was when I was younger. When you were younger, you had a lot more time, so why do you worry then? But that's the impatience of the youth, is it? Like now that you're a lot older and you don't have so much time, you're a lot more relaxed because there's lots of time. Doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. I suppose you have to be older to understand that. <laughs> I don't know. We hear the message that we should be busy a lot and therefore we become busy. And we don't stop and we don't look around us and not take the time. It's not easy to step out of it. I think COVID was a gear change for me. It was a slowdown and it was a good thing for me. And COVID forced me into that. And I'm, I'm very happy with that now. And I want to stay there. I want to stay in that frequency, a more, more quiet life. It gives me space, it gives me room to move, think and dream and just be, being. Comes back to that, eh? just being. I'm here for me now. You gradually become yourself, if you choose to. It took a while, but I've been that person for a while now as well, myself. In a way, I wish I were here earlier, but also not because the journey was worth it. You need to find a way of realizing who you are and then listening to that in a way. It's difficult for guys to do that, to speak about their emotions and like what they feel. They're scared to be perceived as weak. It's all about perceptions. You are seen in a certain way. The real man is actually kind of like a a hollow thing, eh? Like, it's, there's not much to it. You just be strong, like, what's strong? Like, um, there's so much more than that. And it's sad in a way, eh? It's sad that we subscribe to that. It might not be easy, but you don't have to subscribe to that. You don't have to act that way. It's sad that we often choose to do that. The grenzen waarbinnen je leven die jezelf geskip. You live within the limits you set for yourself. It's true. It's like you, you, you set your own borders and you live within that framework. And then it's your limits that you've set. 
Nobody else set them for you. That's, that's your world. So change your limits and your world change, eh? We are definitely human long before we are a race or a sex or anything like that. All the labels that comes after that, like whether you're male or female, it makes it colorful, but it's not important in a certain sense. It's maybe like a short word to describe some bit of you, but it's not you. Our experience of emotions makes us very similar. We share so much, like our fears, our dreams, our ideals, like it's a very collective thing if you think about it. When you are happy, you want to tell somebody you are. And when you're not, you also want to communicate. It's not a singular thing, not, not for one, it's for the group. Find people that share the same values, the same interests. They know what you're about, they understand you. Find your tribe, eh? that's the thing, eh? find your tribe. My purpose at the moment is to be. To be here is to listen to, observe, live through the seasons, live through the vegetables I plant, live through the animals that pass through on the farm. Following those trails of interconnectedness. And we all flow in and we flow out. I'm trying to be part, but not stand out. So I'm invisible part of the system. I love it up there. You're the king of the world when you're in there. Like, you really are. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. This time of the afternoon, calm, leaves just about moving, rooster crowing, beautiful. That's beautiful. Grounded ne? in realness, like very much real. You feel free in a certain sense, no? Like, this, what can bother you up there? Like, all the other stuff, it's far away. Anywhere in the world, if you take the time, there's beauty, no? If you want, you can find it. Switch off the phone, switch off whatever distracts you, make it go away. Find a place where you won't be disturbed. In a way that you're just alone for a second and then enjoy that, enjoy that second. Everything is beautiful, you just need to notice it. You need to go there. You need to stop and just stare, like just watch it until it goes dark. You need to stop. Thanks for watching this film. All the stories we've made over the last two years have only been possible because of the support that we've received from our patrons on Patreon. So if you'd like to help us keep these stories coming, then check out our Green Renaissance page in the link below. Thanks a lot. Want to kiss? <laughs>